Spur today in Ventura, California, talking with FC Lars. Hey Alex, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I met you in Portland. You did meet me. That was cool. Yes, my hometown. Yes. <laughs> so, um, this is your third time out on Warp Tour. Uh, how's this year been treating you so far? Well, I feel like I understand how like, everything works better. I've been doing a lot of stuff with the AFSP, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. So tying in with um, the nonprofits, tying in, knowing when to put your energy and time, and knowing where to promote yourself effectively and where not to. Like we, every morning, we put up like 300 different posters with our set times. I used to go down the line and talk to everyone. That takes a while. And you're tired by the end. So I'm learning to put my energy into the show, my nonprofit work, promoting, and making new friends like you guys. Yeah, I'm so excited for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been for you? Uh, it's been amazing. This is our fifth year out, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's our first time down here. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so, have you had any favorite moments so far this year? I mean, I love when the Aquabats gave me a shout out in my hometown yesterday. I love them so much. The show yesterday was cool. My parents introduced me. And then there was this the, this big MC Lars fan came up and rapped with Mr. Raven, this kid, this 11 year old kid, and he nailed it. He rapped with me. So, that, yesterday was pretty magical. That's so amazing that you reach out to your fans that way. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fortunate. I have. I feel like I've been able. To, my fans have afforded me this longevity, you know, that where I'm able to just keep doing this. And and um, it's. I'm really thankful. You know what I mean? That's great. I saw you've also been working with Fan Happy. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've been yeah. teaching rap lessons. Yeah. How's that going? That's cool. I teach you about the history of hip hop. I teach you about a flow. Nice. So that's been pretty cool. Have you met any aspiring uh, rappers that are gonna make a thing? I met some. <laughs> yeah. I met this guy who was in the Navy in San Diego who was. I'm gonna write raps about his experience. I thought that'd be cool. So he's in Af he came was home from Afghanistan. Tell his story. Really, really cool guy. Because hip hop's about being yourself. Hip hop is really about you know, diversity and and having your own identity and speaking your truth. Yeah. I think that a lot of the you know negative stuff, like the homophobic elements of hip hop, all that's being stamped out in our progressive society. And I think guys like Macklemore talking about that stuff. It's just all like you know, everything's changing. You know what I mean? Hip hop is such a great way. Of Bringing out the best of you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there's a quote from Orwell that says, "Telling your story is uh, an act of revolution." Or something like that. That's great. Yeah, so it's a good way to do that. Uh, what's coming up for you after work? Well, I'm working on a few things. I'm working on a kids' hip hop show. It's called Yes Yes Y'all. Um, it's about me and four robots. We travel through time and we learn about tolerance, love, respect, diversity, literature, history. We meet people through history. Like we're talking to Weird Al Yankovic about being the pilot. We're gonna go back in time and he's gonna teach me about remixing with Dada is and he's gonna play Marcel Duchamp. And so like um, we're trying to work on that. Um, I'm working on a book, a history hip hop book, and I'm doing a kids record and another MC Lars record. So a lot of projects. So you're not busy at all. So not just gonna kick back. Chilling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I think that's awesome. You're working with Weird Al. Shout out to Weird Al. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Equalize tries to educate on how to stop homophobia and transphobia at their conversation. Uh, what are some ways that you've done that before and some advice you have for That's great. Um, we live in a world where everything's changing and like the idea of like the gay or straight like on the Kinsey scale, no one's completely straight, no one's completely gay. I have a song called Everyone's a Little Bit Gay about how you need to like be okay with appreciating the human form. You don't have to be afraid if you have like like attraction feelings of attraction for a man or a woman. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Like my cousin, shout out to my cousin, he just got married to his partner and uh, they have you know, they got married and like they have a gay cousin with an amazing new I guess brother in law or cousin in law. Like I think it's really cool. So the way you you stamp out homophobia is by putting a face and identifying with people as human. So instead of like thinking of someone as a concept and being afraid of something you don't know, take away your fear and 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 be open to meeting people you might not necessarily know. Because when you know people like gay people or transgender people as people in your community, then you're not going to be homophobic or say mean things or like be afraid. Because I feel like a lot of people who are homophobic are afraid of their own gay desires. So like the, the people who, who be mean are really just not like in touch with themselves. So get in touch with yourself, realize that we live in a changing society, have an open heart and realize there's beauty in everyone and everything. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing. Uh, you are the perfect equalizer. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Being with you. This is Alex from Equalize with MC Lars.